Brian Harmon has finally revealed his putting secret to the media to how he won the Open Championship. He had this to say, I found this. It's a silly looking mirror where it's got like a better release pattern. I was kind of cutting across my putts. I spent a lot of time feeling the ball, almost feeling like I'm hitting a baby draw with my putter. And it's been really, really good this last month or so. Now I'm gonna break this down and show you the exact drill he's been using. Now for any of this, you do not need a mirror. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can set up your own version. Also, this is your first time here on the channel. Don't forget, this is your home of simple golf tips and the only place you can come to get free simple golf tips five times a week that cover every single area of the game. Now, let's get exactly into what you can do here to stop cutting across those putts. I bet you don't realize this. When you're trying to swing that putt ahead, I know a lot of golfers are trying to control this, swing the putt ahead straight back, straight through, this is for me why you pull putts. And I have a lot of questions about this. It gets you to be almost cutting across the putter like this, coming across the golf ball like this with the putter head. This will cause the ball to almost check, not roll very well. And essentially, we want to get something that works a little bit more arc to arc. That's how we're going to get a better roll of our putter. Now think about this simply. If I hold that putter up here and I turn straight to you and you stay exactly where you are, and imagine this stays in the exact same position. If I turn back and turn through, this putter head is getting a little bit further away from you. As I move here, it goes back to where it started and then again a little bit further away. Down the line, you can see again, keeping all my arms locked in, this is going slightly in to slightly in. It's not straight back to straight through. You can see the difference in that, right? My arms would have to move. Anytime your arms are moving, that's changing our club face. That's changing our club path. So lose that whole idea right now of wanting to swing that putt ahead straight back, straight through. That is gonna cause you to slice your putt and not roll it. Right, this is the drill. Let's get it set up. So if we take that whole extension down to player cam and I make a rocking motion, the putter head would slightly work in, back to the ball, then slightly work in. We're not fighting the arc. So to set this drill up, all I've done is get this golf club to point exactly where I want the ball to start. And for me, this also gets our alignment absolutely dialed in so I can see why Brian Harmon would do this. So imagine the ball, this putt here is a little bit left to right. So I've got this aiming sort of towards left half of this hole, the golf club. I then place my ball down and then my club head. I've got this tee peg that I placed in first and this would symbolize where I want the front of my putter head to be. I then place the tee peg slightly in on the arc and slightly in on the arc. This is what I want us to sort of mirror. So if I stand up now and look at this on player cam, I can see I have a very slight arc to go around, to go through. This would be that feeling of hitting that little bit of a draw. Now, I'm not asking you to twist that face at all. I'm really getting you to picture we're working the putt ahead more in an arc. We're not chopping across it. So just look at the quality of this roll. I stand in, I address that putter, grip on, and look at the quality of this roll. Look at that, beautiful roll, straight, end over end. And even if you want to be even more confident with this, get the lie on the ball to be exactly like this. I was a little firm, that last one. But again, I'm picturing, I'm not working out. I'd hit this, then coming across it, I'd then hit this. I'm stood here, rock it back, rock it through, just like that. Look at the quality of that roll, end over end. That is exactly what we're looking to see. And all this is, is a matter of doing this time after time to just really train that putting stroke. So what I feel there is simply from that drill is that I'm keeping everything very connected. That putter head is just feeling as though it's connected to my sternum all as one. My arms aren't disconnecting. So let's take a putt. Let's move over here slightly. And these are the putts you want to make on the golf course. This is what Brian Harmon made, these 10 to 12 footers, time after time. So what I wanted to do, and this is legal by the way, this is not illegal, tuck your shirt in, tuck your shirt in, 
feel that pressure, feel that connection. So when you're over that putt, all you're imagining is that slight arc to your putt, and that is the key to a great roll, through and in. And getting a great roll is how you're gonna hold putts time after time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the bell for free simple golf tips.